No, Your Honor. Uh, can I have a podium? I have some paperwork I need to bring out. I really can't. I really can't do this. Just standing here. I understand that, Your Honor, but I filed for each case a demand for dismissal for lack of a speedy trial. And per, pursuant to 18 U.S.C. 3161, the district attorney has 30 days in which to file charges upon an arrest. And in one case, the charges hadn't been filed for more than a year. And in the second case, charges haven't been filed for more than eight months. So the district attorney is well past the 30 days in which they should have filed the charges. And at this time, I'm uh, moving the court to, uh, to, dismiss, to dismiss both cases. Thirty-one sixty-one. Um, um, it is a uh, federal law, and unfortunately, this court is only minimally covered by federal law. Well, I understand that, Your Honor, but I'm being charged under federal law. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not so certain uh, uh, about that. Uh, these are violations of uh, either state. I understand that, Your Honor, but I'm being charged under the Transportation Code, and that's federal law. I don't, that's, that's not correct. You're being charged under Title 40 of, of the official code of Georgia. Right. I understand that, Your Honor, but that doesn't apply to someone's right to travel. The state cannot convert someone's right into a privilege. Therefore, I'm being, I'm being charged as driving commercially, and so I'm being charged under the federal code. Mr. Cooley, I, I don't want to argue with you today, and I'm not going to let you argue with me. My question is, is simply, uh, do you want some time to hire a lawyer? At this time, Your Honor, I make no plea. Uh, I'm challenging this court's jurisdiction. Well, I have to object to Your Honor pleading for me. Uh, I didn't say I failed to plead. I said I'm challenging the court's jurisdiction. And until the court can prove jurisdiction on the record, the court can't move forward. Mr. Cooley, that's a matter for trial. That's not a matter for your right. You're, uh, you're your Honor, the jurisdiction can be challenged at any time not during trial at any time 
of the case, even on appeal. I, I appreciate your statements, Mr. Cooley, and you're, you're free to go. Thank you, Your Honor. Sorry, Your Honor, can we schedule a motions hearing? Since since I was sent case numbers, I have since refiled that mo that demand for speedy trial, and, and they and they do have a numerous, copy of that. He, I, I, he has provided numerous uh, documents to my office since I have accused this case last month. So I may have overlooked another speedy trial demand that he may be addressing. Well, as I told Mr. Cooley earlier this morning, Mr. Bennett, all those motions we heard. At a later time, there's no sense uh, dealing with those. I, I, I simply indicated if there are motions uh, pending and there are, whether they have merit or not, they, they need to be heard. Okay. Uh, uh, Your Honor, when would you like for us to schedule that? June 9th. June 9th is before our next trial week, Your Honor. Okay. Um, so that would... Uh, the motions will be heard on June 9th, and is that uh, afternoon? Yes, Your Honor, at 1.30. Uh, and truly, in addition to the discovery, some notice to return to the motion? Are you going to mail that to him? Uh, we'll mail that notice to him, Your Honor. Um, and I mentioned, Mr. Cooley, they have your correct mailing. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, with that, Mr. Cooley. Thank you.